Hey everybody, I hope everybody is doing well. It is 5.55 a.m. Let's do a quick analysis for 2023, everybody. This has been a super long time. Hope everybody is doing well. Look, here it is. Very difficult market to read now. But look here, since 2008, you have the higher lows, higher lows, higher lows, right? Bull market going on here, 2009, 12. The, the bottom here are COVID 2020. And then the top here. See, we have a double top, shoulder, shoulder. So let's zoom. Let's try to figure everything with the probabilities and the trend line. So we are in a very interesting situation here because you have that shoulder again, head, shoulder, double top. The market makes a series of head and shoulders. See here, shoulders, double top again, shoulder, 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 head, shoulders. And look here, we are kind of in, in a box here. You have that shoulder here, you have that head here, and you have a shoulder that might come soon. And this is going to be the moment of truth here that invested in shoulder around this 3640. So we have that resistant shoulder here towards this 4100 on the top side. And we have the 3650, uh, let's say, on the bottom here. And if you look here, the reason the market is very hard here is because we are playing around this game here, head, shoulder, head, shoulders, right? But if I connect the dot, look, this is a really interesting box from shoulders to shoulders. Excuse my uh, <laughs> Picasso, it's not great, but it's very, very important that you see this because this is really where the game of most of the market is right now, which is this 4150, 4100 to this 36, uh, uh, 3650, let's call it. And when we are going to get a resolution, that's where we are going to see, do we go to the bottom of the calculator all the way down, which would be roughly around the 3300, you know, 3325. And that to me would be a black swan, a huge black swan with the bank, a huge black swan with Ukraine, you know, and Russia. And even there, the old time trend line, higher highs, higher lows, is converging around here, this 27, 2800, right? On the um, SPX. So you have 2800 here. You have the 3300 here. You have the key, key critical box support at 3650, right? And you have the key critical box resistance at 4100 to 4050. Okay, so we got to have some resolution. So what's the game plan? What one should do, right? Well, personally, what I do is each time we go towards the shoulders and we drop like this, I'm accumulating the stocks that I like. I have accumulated over the months, which was sent also in our iPhone app and in our live room, Meta. You know, we started accumulating Meta at uh, 95, something like this. Let me see on the app here. So you have the meta at 95 and you can see the entry, the exits. Uh, we had we had pretty good stuff here going on. We had the Google at 87. And by the way, those are November, October entry, by the way, okay? So it was it was fairly good, right? And so I accumulate those. And as I accumulate those, I offset my delta, everyone, with the SPXS Tripoli Bear ETF. So here I have a down pressure. So it's a negative delta. And but slowly I'm building asset, right? So I'm buying this one, this one, this one, whatever you like, you know? And I bought us also some at and at the bottom and a Verizon, right? All of this was in our live private group and into the iPhone app where I show my long-term positions. 
on the stuff that I take. And usually I, I buy and hold for as long as I can on those, right? And so what happened is I have a neutral effect. The market goes up, the market goes down, the market is crazy, right? But I'm collecting my dividend here. I'm accumulating the asset. And then I can slowly and surely when I approach the shoulder here, reduce my SPXs, which becomes like cash and buy more asset. Same here comes to the bottom or here, just three target 3650, 3300 or 2800. If we get that, that would be a fantastic thing. Last but not least, I want to show you one more powerful chart, everybody, which is the VIX, the fear factor chart. And this is a chart that I have pounded, pounded to our guys on the Discord group, right? And on the private group, look. This is a 30 year chart of the VIX. Look what has happened. Shoulder, right? Head, and we have been forming around the top shoulder. So each time you bump into this 1821 area, you need to be very careful on the VIX that it rebounds and rebounds to what? It's 2833, 38 area see so this is all the areas for the past 30 years that are going to be extremely helpful for you because when it bumps 33 you know what we had like the bank panic this week is 32 38 that's where you could come in the morning with an extreme volume indicator everybody and what you do is you start uh, uh covering your shop and buying assets yeah so the vix also is very very helpful for everything now now, what, what helped me on Meta, everybody, is very simple. It's the power probability power calculator long-term to do long-term play. So look what happened here. And this is a, a great replay function that I like. So I go to the probability power calculator. I'm going to get out of the division of third settings. I'm going to show you the box percentage. And now I want to show you the replay on how we got it at 95. So you go here in October and look where the probability power calculator was. It was here for a long-term play of 96% chance of a buy. So I had a 4% chance of a loss. So the risk ratio, if you know that you are going to be patient is worth it. Look, I put a buy here, I put the play of the replay and boom. The rest is history. Did a little inverse head and shoulder, and it's almost been a double. Yeah. And I was great. Like, boom, I can do 10x. Boom, 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 boom. So you can see the entire move to the top of the edges here of the roll of third at 197. Okay. So those are the stuff that have been helping us tremendously. And right now, you just need to be patient within this box. And I will continue accumulating assets. Here, there was a panic with the bank where people are leaving the small banks and they go to the top three, four banks, which is what? JP Morgan, right? They go to Wells Fargo. They go to Bank of America, right? And some people are even smarter. They take a little bit of their money and they reinject that into Combase and then they reinject that into a cold wallet where they have completely 100% control and custody of their money. So essentially, you are your own bank. So hopefully that helps, guys. That has been a long time since I've done an analysis. So hopefully that will uh, help you guys going forward. We are in that square, you know, that box that I showed you. And all I do that is easier is to accumulate assets. And when you day trade now, especially going to the next FOMC in March 24, I think it is, you know, which is going to be a really critical FOMC where you might pose increasing rates. You want to trade small. You want to keep your money and trade small with very, very small sizes because it's very, very algorithmic right now. The HFTs are in control. It's better to just take advantage of the emotions of the market. It takes on those shoulders that I showed you you buy asset. It tends to those shoulders, you buy more asset. And you keep on doing this and that. And you have higher lows on the cryptos as well. Okay. 
So it's going to be very important to see now if the 21,000, 20,000 hold for Bitcoin. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful, everybody. Love you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget, you can have a lot of our analysis, at least on a weekly basis, when I don't come on YouTube, on our new Discord group with the Power Indicators uh, community. Take care, everybody. Stay safe.